fall is my favorite season, and I think it's because that's when my birthday is, is in October. <laughs> <laughs> yep, happy birthday. It's my birthday month, but today's yep. the very last day of the month, so. Oh yeah, it's Halloween. Hope you're having fun trick-or-treating. <laughs> Many of you have asked if we would do a tour of our house. And so we thought, well, why not? Well, let's, let's go do a home let's tour. Let's show you where we live. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> Come start. Come on in. Well, we started building our home Oh, 23 years ago, so that... Uh, it's been quite a while, yeah. yeah. So I keep thinking it's a fairly new house, but it's 23 yeah. years old. Uh, we built this room. Well, Jennifer designed our layout. When we built the home, the builder says, keep the foundation and the roof line just like it is on the spec home that he had. But you can erase all the lines on the inside and you can design it any way you want it. So. This is Jennifer's design. This is our living room right here. And the fireplace kind of divides the three rooms. The kind of the piano room, the living room, and then the dining room and kitchen. Um, we've, we've thought about redoing a lot of things along the way, but we just haven't done much. Chad is very much aware that we haven't done a whole lot to our house since we moved into it, <laughs> no, have we? No. And it's kind of time to do a few things, well, huh? Well, if we have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a guy. Yeah. He yeah. would rather have motorcycles and four-wheelers and new tires. And we're, yeah. we're getting there. We this is where we live. And I really do think that it's time to replace the countertops, yeah. Chad. Yeah. These we'll, need to be replaced. We'll change this with either granite or something. something. Yeah, yeah. But people want us to paint our cupboards white or paint, no, no. Uh, in just a few short years, they'll be looking for wood cabinets again, <laughs> believe me. This is, this is, of course, you've seen a ton of pictures of our grandkids sitting in that bay window or in that windowsill. How many children will fit into a bay window, or not a bay window, just, uh, a, just a into the windowsill? Window I'll bet I could get 10 of my grandbabies' bums lined up yep. in that windowsill because yep. oh, I've yeah. done it. Yeah, and they'll sit there and they'll eat and drink and just enjoy <laughs> each other and make a mess. Mm. Uh, door to the outside. Love, I love this entrance. I love that you can come in from the garage, you can come in from the patio, and that the laundry room is just right straight ahead. I love that. And then we put a toilet in the laundry room. Yep, that way I don't have to track grease in from the garage or dirt. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you a sneak peek of the garage. Actually, it's, it pretty, so actually it. it's pretty clean compared to what it used to be. So before you get too far, I really like this entrance when you walk in, you see a portrait of our family. Yes, this is an old, old uh, photograph of our family, but it is also very timeless. Oh yeah, yeah. that'll always be the way I picture yep. my kids. Yep. Well, and then, you know, we, of course, we've got, you know, the picture, picture of the, the, savior. the Savior who's, you know, center of our lives and yeah. our home. And then uh, a temple that uh, where we got married at, and it kind of represents uh, our religion. So faith, Savior, and family is kind of things that are important to us. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, what do you mean that we haven't done anything to this house? I forgot. <laughs> we did redo this bathroom pretty much. This is Julie's bathroom, and you'll give your rooms names, and they'll always be Julie's bathroom. So you always ask yourself, in case of a fire, what do you want to grab? <laughs> I'm afraid we want to try and grab everything out of this closet here. These are all of our pictures and... You know, and I clean that and closet out on a regular basis oh. and think, okay, it's all organized now, I've got it clean. And then the next thing I know, I've pulled things out of boxes and it's a mess like that. But 
I'll bet yours is too. I'll bet you I could find a closet just like that in everybody's home. Okay, so you've already seen a, or had a tour of our bedroom because we redid a few things last spring and I'll put the link to that in the description below. But for those of you that haven't seen our bedroom, this is our bedroom and we just really think it's pretty. <laughs> I wish sometimes that we had double sinks, but we don't, and it's yeah. fine. We do just yeah. fine. Maybe in another life. Yeah. Okay, if you're uh, thinking about building a home and you've got a little bit of latitude, this here is the best thing you can do is in your landing, give yourself plenty of room so when you're bringing down couches and beds and mattresses and desks, and everything else. You've got plenty of room to bring it down, maneuver it, and then put it into whatever your room you want. But, and the grandkids, they'll, they'll spend a lot of time playing right in here, which is not It didn't used to be a bedroom. This is called the piano room. <laughs> yep, this, this was the piano room, and this is where Ruby taught piano lessons, and we had another piano which we gave to Ellie when Ellie got married. Yeah. Um, See, this is this is why Grandma's house is so scary, especially <laughs> in the basement. Oh, Chad, think, <laughs> Chad thinks that this oh, is scary. I could never sleep down here. <laughs> so this is Bo's room, and it'll always be Uncle Bobo's room. And we... It's like a shrine in here or something. I don't know. <laughs> we have not cleaned out his closet. We have not cleaned Bo's closet out. And it is still got his things in it. There's his little, little Cub, Scout. Cub Scout shirt. Um, so his stuff is still in here. Um, yeah, this is the purple room. Yeah. The purple room, as we refer to it, the purple room, and obvious because it's purple, but the the girls stayed in that room. Julie was generally always upstairs. Julie was just always really clean and tidy. I don't know why it yeah. ended up that well, way. They, but they eventually took some yeah, turns around, yeah, but they, I think we Julie wrote, was we the last one. We played musical rooms and yeah, it was okay. Just part of our raising our kids, we made them share. And but, so I'll show you this closet too, and this closet oh. is one of those closets that we haven't done a dang thing with, but it's coming. It's coming. Pretty soon I'm going to... Well, don't tell them. Tell the kids that it's coming. <laughs> I'm going to tell the... You, t you tell the kids. Tell the kids. You guys need to go get your stuff out of your mom and dad's house. Yep. There's just... But we've got a few boxes of yeah, toys, toys and, and books. books and, and yearbooks. Yeah, and, uh -huh. yeah Camping gear <laughs> theirs and... Oh, my word. This basement. Now, this here part of the house, when we moved in, was unfinished. We didn't let that go too long before we got to work and we finished it ourselves. Yeah, I was just going to say, Chad and I did this ourselves. We remember yeah. put, holding the sheetrock oh, up with there our with our head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did this room. Oh, this patio. It's it, I love this, this patio. This is just as much a room yeah. and, and part of the house as, as any of the rooms are. I think are. Chad's kind of taking over things, though. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. it, it needs to stay out of the weather. I'd put it in the garage, but yeah, <laughs> I might have but room the for The garage it. <laughs> is full of his toys. <laughs> but no, we, we enjoy coming out here and spending time, especially in the evening, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's there's i'm not sure how to put it difference between a house and a home a house is just you know where you where your things are but a home is where you've created memories you've created uh a house uh, is shingles wood shingles bricks. wood bricks mortar and a home is made of love yep yep and i just hope that that our home will always just be full of love and I don't care what it's yeah. made of. Well, and 
The, the size of your home doesn't matter no. either. I mean, I've lived in a pretty, pretty humble home growing up, a little cinder block house uh, in Dugway. Full of love. Uh, there was a lot of us. There was three, four in one room, and my sisters lived in another room, and parents lived in another. We had one bathroom. And, so whatever was, you live uh, in, make it home.